Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day seven of our new Lone Survivor series here. I got a couple things I'm going to take over to the trader just to sell today. I don't know why my lock picks are in there instead of in my inventory, but sure, why not? So a couple things I can sell is not going to make a lot of money. He should have reset. I thought about making a double barrel of the old side by side here, but I don't have a workbench still. Can't make a workbench. So maybe, just maybe, we'll start. That's starting off great. We missed the jump. That's fantastic. So maybe, just maybe, um, Trader Dude will have one we can either buy or he'll have the thing that we need to be able to learn how to craft it because I believe, if I make sure here, oh, it'd only be a level one even if I did make it. I have no skill points into shotguns and I have not really found that many books on it. So it's not really going to help out. But it's Horde Night, so it means we're going to be dealing with the Horde tonight. And I have an idea for what I want to do with the base. Whether it works or not, I have no idea. We'll just have to see. Sup, my dude? Okay, I need you to buy a whole bunch of things from me. 6,400 monies. That's not too bad. All right, let's see in ways of weapons. Do... No, you don't. That would just be useful, and you're not useful today. Do you have anything that wouldn't suck as far as... No. Seed crafting, repair tools, vehicle crafting, and trap crafting. You know... And to you as well. Okay, so as far as trap crafting, where's that at here? Traps. Okay, so in order to be able to get to electric fences, darts, and blade trap, I need to get to level 25. Yeah, um, hang on, that's that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Advanced engineering, if I put one into here, then I get, you know, experience from those, but you don't unlock those. I need a freaking workbench. <laughs> I need a workbench, I'm not going to get one. Okay, let's see if you have anything else that would be useful to buy here. Now, I thought about getting some electrical fence posts because I could run those along the base here, but I still don't have a battery bank. I don't think I have a battery, nor do I have a wire tool. So it would basically just be for decoration at this point, and we don't need that at all. Uh, let's see. Do you have any ammo? Seven, you have some 7.62 ammo. I might as well go ahead and get all of what you have there. I have some at the house, but since we're going to be having to do a lot of... And you as well. Since we're going to have to do a lot of shooting tonight, I figure it would probably be a good idea to make sure we at least have some ammo. I'm hoping, really hoping, that my idea for what I want to do with this base is going to work out. I mean, I don't want to die. I decided, you know, while this is still a early access or experimental build, I'm not doing it as a permadeath series here in Alpha 21, but I still don't want to die. I mean, nobody wants to see me just horrifically die, right? But I need to get some more wood. I have some at the house, but I'm going to need a lot more to be able to do what I'm doing here. So let's chop down some trees real quick. And always replant after you chop down a tree so that you can, you know, chop them down at a later date. All right, that should be enough uh, enough wood to get started. I mean, it's not like it's real hard to find should we be a little bit low on anything. Um, let me see. I do need to run back to the house real quick. We're going to be using that as our base, of course. It's right next door. could be convenient. I need to grab the rest of the wood that I have, the cobble that I have. I think I have a hammer. I think I have a hammer. That's not it. Where did I... I guess I'm going to be using my stone axe here. I'm pretty sure I can make a hammer. I can make a level 2 claw hammer, but I have to use a bunch of forged iron. What I do need to do, hang on real quick, because this was mentioned in the last video by so many people. Yes, I did pick up an engine, and I even said at one point, yes, you can scrap this down for mechanical parts. See, you get 30 mechanical parts, and I need that to be able to make a wrench. See, mechanical parts. I now have enough of those. Forged iron and duct tape. See, forged iron and... Do I not have any duct tape? I thought I had some. I mean, I got glue and cloth, so I could technically make some here. We'll just do four since that's exactly what I need. We'll put you up and you up, and that should give me enough to be able to make a wrench. Okay, need, looks like I need a little bit more forged iron. Please tell me I already have some crafting. Ha ha! Yay, look at me preparing. Okay. Craft a level 3 wrench. We definitely need one of those. We haven't had the ability to rip down anything in any time soon, so. Alright, let's put all the stuff back of things in here we're not going to need. For the moment, I'm going to put you back in there. I don't even have two full stacks of either of the ammo that I have. I may end up having to make a pipe shoddy, and I don't want to. They suck. Okay. Cobblestone, we'll get some of that. We'll grab some iron just in case. And that's pretty much about it. I don't have a cement maker, so even if I did have an, a use for this concrete, it wouldn't do me too much good. 
Okay, so while dorking around, I had an idea of what I want to do. Right at the moment, the zombies cannot get up to me if I'm upstairs. So, worst case scenario, they just run around and destroy the base that I'm on. But I thought, here's an idea. What I could do is make a ladder system so that they have a way to climb up and it forces them to get up to me. We'll do the round ladder. We're going to put you right there. Can I just put you over the window? Let's see. You go like that. A little higher right there and right there. All right. So from there, the zombies should be able to just run straight up to me. That's going to take them to this little pit here. So we can use this as kind of like a fall trap. Just kind of like that. But what I need to do is to wall off the rest of this so that they can't get to me. Now, I'm going full ugly mode here. Actually, what I need to do is go ahead and break you down. I get a little bit of rock from this. Not a lot, but that way they don't see this as a step. This is why I was picking up a lot more wood so I can kind of build this out at least too high all the way across so they see this as a wall. And they should not try to get over the top of that. I'm going to put it two or three high there so they don't do all the dumb things. Let me beat down this side. Okay, now something I was looking at is this little pole that's right here in the middle. I can make this jump, which is great, and the zombies should not be able to. But one of the things that I was looking at is if I copy this shape, and then what I can do is I can put it down like this, and then what I'll, once I get a walking path around here, this will force them to nudge off to the side and give me a better chance of them falling to pieces here. Let me see. I need to rotate you around. That... Uh, let me see. Are you... Nope, you're not what I need at all. I need this one. Pole center. There we go. Put you on face. Like this, like this, and like... Th yeah, that's totally what I meant to do. Like that. Okay, so now the zombies have a way to get past, but they run into this thing, and it forces them to go off. That won't change their pathfinding, but it will force them to try and go around it. So it's a real simplified thing. If they run over here, they hit this, they have a chance to go around it. But if they're running at it, they have a chance to just straight up fall down, which is at least kind of hope. And of course, I'm going to put some stuff over on this side too to keep them from getting to me. But at least this will be the route that they can possibly go to try and get to me. Hopefully. I guess worst case scenario, if this doesn't work, then uh, I'm just going to sit up here and watch them beat on the base a little bit. See, I think that'll work. Now, of course, I'm going to need to upgrade this a little bit more in case they decide to break things or whatever. Okay, let me get the rest. No, no, no. I need to get everything upgraded and repaired before I put up the things. Because if not, then I'm going to have to run back and forth myself. And that'll be a little annoying. All right, that's the bare basics of it here. This will keep them funneled. They'll go up the ladder. Um, I don't think they would break the ladder. But again, if they did, the worst case is they can't get to me. They just run around, and then I have to deal with them in the morning. But they run over the top of this, and we should be okay. Now, let me see if I can get... Let me see. I think it's the scaffolding ladder is what we were looking at here. Okay, so let me do it up like right over here. And then I have the ability to shoot through here for headshots easily and then what i can do is put down a single pole similar to this one at the bottom and that way if they come around this way or they try to crawl underneath it it won't actually go anywhere uh no you need to be an edge piece so that you're equal to the other one so you need to be pole centered side there we go all right so i think like that they should still try to get to me of course but then i can sit here and stab through them if they're crawling i can stab down this way don't have to worry about hitting my actual blocks themselves and of course i can shoot through there if i need to as well i think that'll work let me see if there's a random zombie around that i could possibly shoot at to see if this will work the way i want it to of course not why would there be any zombies around when i actually want them to it's awfully quiet one might say it's too quiet so, and then what I need to do next is to tear down this and set it up as kind of a reinforcement in case everything goes to crap. Then I can, um, you know, have a place to kind of retreat to a little bit. And technically with this here, if I need to, I can jump up over the top and fix some things as needed. I can jump off over here and updo uh, update or repair or whatever. This is going to be the bare basic you know, nothing special kind of base to begin with. For the first Horde Night, I feel confident. I don't know why I feel confident, but <laughs> I do. Let's get the rest of this upgraded as far as we can right now. 
And that's as far as we can. I don't have the ability to make any cobblestone on me right at the moment because I need a whole bunch of clay and stone here. And I think I've got some at the house and it's obviously easy to get to. We're going to have to grab some more supplies here. Go ahead and finish cleaning you up. Get rid of the glass. Need the base to at least look kind of pretty. This is just hideous. That ought to slow them down, right? Just one broken half glass door? Sure, sure, sure. Totally. Totally. Knock you out of the way. I'm going to leave the top part up there. I don't really need it anyway. The bars are already there. They haven't taken any damage yet anyway, so it's not a big deal. But I need to run home and get as much um, clay and stuff that I have and get some more rocks, which really shouldn't be that difficult, especially since I'm in kind of a blown-out construction site here. Plenty of rocks to be gotten. I mean, there's literally just stuff laying around here that we can beat on to get rocks. But I need a whole bunch of clay, and I don't have... Oh, I do have my shovel with me, so I shouldn't even have to run home to get anything. We'll just do that, and that way I don't have to worry about trying to replenish the supplies with the things that I already got. Sure, why not? We'll get rid of you. I'm going to try to go a little bit further this direction to dig a hole that way i don't run my bike into it that's not something that we do around here we we don't run into our own holes no never well we have a new airdrop how far away from the house is that going to be i wonder that's not too bad that's not too bad it's a little closer than the last one was all right so i've got plenty of clay now i've been making it as i was going about i need to find another rock to beat on a uh, small little boulder laying around, basically. Uh, I can get rock from the construction site. Pick up one right there, too. And one right there. I don't think... I mean, even though this looks like rock, you don't really get rock from that. You stay right over there. Maybe we'll go go, go get you before the Horde Night starts. But we got all this rubble right over here that we could beat down to get some of the rocks that we're going to need anyway. Might as well. All right, let's see where that's going to put this. First, let me repair you. Cobblestone rocks get you another 47. That'll put us up to 130, which is enough to be able to upgrade 13 blocks, I guess. So let me jump up here. This is the path that they're going to go. They should try to go around this direction. Yes, I realize if I fall off, I'm going to be kind of SOL if I can't get back up. But, you know, that's a problem for somebody who's not me. Technically... Uh, I could go like, well, no, that's not going to do me any good. If I get up on the other side of this little platform, that's not going to be any good. I can't imagine the zombies would want to go this direction. I mean, I don't know if they're that smart enough. That would kind of suck. That would kind of suck for me if they were smart enough to go that direction, because then I'd have to deal with them. Now, granted, they'd still be on a teeny tiny little walking platform, so it really wouldn't be terrible, I guess, but it wouldn't be ideal either. Um, I need to I need to have enough cobblestone to get all the rest of this upgraded, but I don't think I'm going to have enough with me right now. I have to venture back out and dig some more stuff. At least get the first two levels of this closest to me upgraded. I don't have any cement. Yeah, level one. I mean, level one. Level ten and one skill point. I need you to not break. I think that should be good. <laughs> I, I am not saying that with any confidence in me at all. I've got 17, so it's enough to just do one more block. That's really not a lot at all. We need to gather up just a ton more supplies. I know I have some supplies at the house, but I don't want to have to deplete those because I end up using those for more. Uh, yeah, I have not spent any time at all prior to today worrying about getting supplies for this horde base, so it's no surprise that I'm behind on things. Looks like rock is the most challenging thing to get right at the moment, but even then it's not hard. It's just taking the time to beat on stuff, so I guess let's get some more supplies. That's what we're going to work on today. All right, that put me back up to a little over 100 again. That's not a lot. I need to upgrade this at least one. That way it doesn't accidentally get picked up or, you know, one idiot punches it a little bit too hard and it just completely falls off. You know, something along those lines. I'm not worried about them damaging the ladder and breaking off. Now, this should, I might have enough to be able to finish upgrading the rest of this little area here. I can't imagine. Oh, I got to stop saying words. See, I've got, okay, so i got enough to do 10 more blocks. That should be enough to at least finish this area right over here. If this is all cobblestone, they shouldn't see this as a weak point to try and get to me. Now, we'll just have to see how this works. I don't know. I could be completely mistaken. I do need to keep some on me so I can top off some things as we're going. But I think that should be okay. 
Worst case scenario, I can climb up here. The zombies cannot seem to climb up here. So I can run and jump and get over there. And this should be okay. <laughs> he, yeah, there's no confidence in me saying that at all. Okay, so if this falls, if this doesn't work, I need a backup. So what I could do is put it on like this. That'll help out with the whole crawling thing. This will stop some of them. And then if I go up one... I don't have any more wood on me. Wow. Okay, well, here's some free wood. A whole couple pieces there. Woohoo! All right, well, I'm about out of supplies on that one here. This is the fallback, so if everything goes terrible, I'm going to have to jump up here to jump over anyway. I mean, so things go horrible. <laughs> Well, we're going to be just kind of fighting for our life anyway. I need to get a little bit more supplies to finish upgrading that. Uh, some free wood just kind of laying around here and there. And I think that's going to be about it. Now, eventually what I'll worry about doing is spending some time to move a bunch of supplies over. Set up a horde base crafting chest, basically. I have all my cobbles, some extra wood, some tools, ammo, that sort of, you know, the normal stuff that you keep with you when you're preparing for a horde night. Is there a... Hang on, I think I'm pretty close to a little culvert here. I could run in and fill up my water. It's getting a little low. Okie dokie. Now what I could do, and I thought about doing that, was set up like an extra ladder. Hang on. I'm trying to think of all the possible ways that this could go wrong. If I have like an extra ladder set up, not necessarily on this side, but... Uh, where would be a good place for having a ladder? Because you put it up a couple blocks high and the zombies can't get there. I mean, I guess technically they can't climb up this. They won't climb up this, I guess, to get over here. So if everything goes to poop, then I should be able to at least back up to that point. Let me finish getting all this upgraded so that my backup is good. Now, it would be better to have some hatches here. I'm, I'm fully aware. I don't have any more cobble, do I? Can I make any more cobble? I can. Woohoo! I can make two. That's not even enough to get me up to the 10. I'm going to need to be able to update that. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I got my wrench. Woohoo. Okay, so this is just the... Uh, this is Yeah, we need to get some more supplies. We're going to have to just spend some time before the Horde Knight gathering up a whole bunch of supplies. But I want to go get this airdrop today. I feel like we're okay... I feel like we're okay right at the moment. We'll have enough time to go get the airdrop. We can come back and get all of our stuff. And kind of prepare for what we got going on up here. Mostly I want to go get the airdrop because there's always a chance for getting some extra books. And the game has been off and on kind to me, surprisingly. It has really been generous with giving me the stuff that I need early on. We've been getting a ton. Now, I know it's geared that way. It's actually designed that way. I'm getting a whole bunch of spear books. We got a good spear, which I need to make sure I have a lot of rocks and stuff on me too so I can repair that throughout the night. I wish I could make the shotgun just because I have the ammo for it. I mean, I could make a pipe shoddy, but God, they suck. They really don't do that much damage. The rain's only like four inches. It seems that way anyway. Ooh, there's a big rock over there. We could beat on that on the way home, and I just ran through a rubble pile. So we could beat on that a little bit on the way home, get a whole lot more supplies uh, rock-wise, make some cobblestone, be able to upgrade and repair our equipment if we need to. But first things first... Let's uh, pedal our happy... Now, you know what? Let's just park our bike right here. Stay. We can just run up this hill. It'll be a lot faster than trying to pedal our bike up here. Something good. Vehicle crafting skill. Okie dokie. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Farm bundle and crafting magazine bundle. Okay, well, let's open you up and see what we get from here. Medical crafting. Okay. I'll take it up to 14. I doubt we learn anything new from that. Repair tool crafting. Takes it up to 13, probably nothing from that. And harvesting tool crafting. Stone tool quality 5. So I could make a level 5 stone axe should I need to. Alright, so we got, let me see, seed crafting. Nice. I can learn how to make coffee. And so I have three things I can plant. I can plant some more of these special, these special things on the ceiling of my house. They look very, very interesting. If you didn't see what they look like, you'll see every time we go back in the base, there's a nice little phallic symbol protruding from the roof that is now what the mushrooms look like for some reason. I don't even know why they look like that. Surely this just got to be the fun pimps trolling us, right? Surely. But we got plenty of time left before the Horde Night starts. We're going to not do a whole lot before the Horde Night actually begins. Besides deal with old... 
Kyle over here. Where'd that bunny rabbit go? Hey, bunny rabbit. There you are. I wonder. I think that was a little high. Pretty, yeah, I was a little high on that one. Crap. Okay, no big deal. Um, I'm good on food. I have some at the house, too, so I can, you know, pick it up on the way back. We need to get a whole bunch of stones, so let's just start beating on this and see how much we can get. All right, 200's not bad. We need some more clay before we can turn any more of that into cobblestone. Of course, any of you rocks like this laying around, I'm definitely going to pick up because they're free. I don't have to beat on anything for them. Thank you, game. Here's a good place to dig a hole that we eventually will run into for sure. All right, we'll do another 150 on the cobblestone. That'll give me enough to finish upgrading the last of those blocks over there and enough to be able to kind of top off anything that gets damaged during the actual Horde Night itself. Or at least I hope so. I know, I'm pretty excited about it too. We'll just have to see how well it goes. I appreciate, you know, the cheering squad there. You don't scream at me though. So let's get back home, uh, drop off all the stuff that we don't need on us. You know, we don't have anything that we found on us really. We can put up the farming stuff, which is kind of good. It's nice that they gave it to us so I can put that up on the roof with my dew collectors. Kind of the whole reason why I have that up there. I really, really, really want to be able to get to making a workbench. Because, well, then I can make myself a shotgun if I need to. I can make myself just a bunch of other things. But, you know, I got the game's got to allow me to have it first. And it's just not giving it to me. Okay, so, oh, dang, I do have a ton of stone over here. I have a decent chunk. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take all of you. We might need you. Okay, well, a few of the other things I don't need right at the moment I could probably put up. All right, let's get our farming going on here. See, that's where, that's, that's the mushrooms we were talking about right there. Yeah. I, I don't know why they have to look like that, but okay. Um, I, I don't like... Uh, let's see. Maybe I can put them over here. That'll work. Here, we can just... We don't really need any of the stuff that's planting like this here. We don't need coffee at the moment. We don't need goldenrod. And I don't even have another seed to put in there at the moment. We're going to leave you as is. Not worried about it. Let me see if I can put you right up here. Yeah, that's just... That's just something. That is something right there. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me drop off a few things, pick up a few things, and see if we can't get ready for the Horde Knight. Alright, well, I guess that's going to do it for the moment. We don't even have to ride our bike to the Horde base. It's literally right here. Haha, -ha, how convenient is that? This could make for a nice little hangout kind of place here. Now, of course, the one thing I'm going to have to deal with the, over here that I don't have any kind of prep for is the stupid birds flying overhead. I don't know why I decided to take the difficult route to get there. But I did. So I've got all the ammo that I can possibly carry with me. Out of stamina. I did bring some coffee. I brought some first aid. Take some vitamins before everything kind of gets started. And let me see. Let's go ahead and finish getting you upgraded. I did make as much cobblestone as I could without completely depleting my resources. So we'll see. But again, if I have some stupid birds show up, they're going to be able to get in from right here. We'll just have to deal with those as we come to them. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see here. Let me switch you back to a default block, just in case I need to do some run and climbing. Make sure you're reloaded. Even just that one bullet is going to take a week to get back. I'm going to need it eventually. You're good. You're good. I don't have, I have, did bring my stone arrows just in case, and I have a stone spear. I can't make anything better than the stone spear at the moment. I don't think I can anyway. Nope, level five is all we have there. So, should be able to do the old stabby stabby. Yeah, let's try not to damage that right off the bat, you idiot. So, we can stand here, we can hit them, maybe we can knock them off. Eventually, what I, of course, what I want to do is put some traps in here, like uh, some electrical lines, put sledge in here to kind of help out, kind of just boost them off, because if they fall down here, they got to run all the way around and back up the ladder again. That's kind of how I like to do the bases, to force them to do a whole lot of pathing to get back to me. It makes them waste their time. So, we don't have a lot of time left, so we're just going to kind of hang out and wait for the Horde Knight to start. So you guys wish me luck, and we'll be back here in just a minute. All right, well, here we go. Let me see. We start off 167 kills so far before we even start the Horde Night. We'll just see how well we do here. I'm going to go ahead and take some vitamins, see if it lasts for 12 minutes, see if that'll help me prevent from getting completely demolished or infected. Uh, let's see. We'll get some coffee in us. And the first one up is Sylvia. Come here, you. Okay, so she's having a problem. There we go. That's kind of what I was hoping to see is that some of these idiots would come up and try and hit this little pole here and then fall off. You know, I can kind of feed through them a little bit. Hey, Sylvia. 
Yo. Quit it. See, I need you to do what this this guy over here is doing. He he's he's kind of working out here. That's what I was kind of hoping wouldn't happen. That they would actually come towards me. She seems to be the one exception to the rule. I don't know what her deal is, but Sylvia, look, everybody else has figured it out, man. I need you to I need you to cooperate. Here, tell you what, let me just there we go. Get her kind of off that one little post. Everybody else is doing what they're supposed to. This is, okay, other than Sylvia, this is working pretty good. Let me check on a couple things. Top off what she broke a little bit. That's not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I don't have any concrete, so don't worry about upgrading that on accident here. Of course, uh, Jiggles is working the center pole. That's what she does. For a first horde night, this is not terrible. Is this exactly what I want it to be? No, not exactly. Hey, you, come here. Man, I need my spear range to be a little bit longer. There you go. See, I'm not quite sure exactly what forces them to try and come towards me, but it kind of works. This little pole here in the middle is definitely uh, going to keep them entertained for a little bit. If I can keep them running around it, then I can keep, you know, knocking them off. I can kill them as they make it through here, and it kind of just makes life a little bit easier for me, as long as I don't damage that center pole. Now, worst case scenario, that pole gets damaged. They make it past it easier. Then they just run up to this little ladder uh, spot here. But once they, uh, once they fall off, they have to run all the way around, so it kind of gives me a little bit of breathing room. This is working. This is working. Uh-oh, she just lost her head. And see, as long as I don't hit the center pole, I can aim all the way out to that side. Sylvia, what are you doing, man? Nice. Let's just go ahead and see what he brought us right off the bat here. Some more coffee. Nice. That's awfully kind of you. Some more ammo. Should we need it? Looks like we might have to need it if Sylvia doesn't quit it. Look at the flowers. Arlene doing the same thing. Hold on, y'all can just kind of hang out for a second while I reload this. This is working. This is working. I love messing with their pathing here. I, I don't like the bases where it's just like, I'm going to set up 700 hatches and block off some doors and then just have to rely on 10,000 rounds of ammo to fix it here. That's just not my bag. I don't really care for that at all. I don't know what Sylvia's deal is. I know she's the smartest of all the zombies, but I'm not sure why she's trying to work on this little spot. Maybe if I scooch over here, it'll incite them to come over this direction because most of them are coming around this way, but Sylvia, the best of all the zombies there is, is definitely having some issues. <laughs> I don't know what her deal is. Hey, quit it. You're making me look bad, man. I talk, I've talked very highly of you. Glenn, you're having the same kind of issues here. Arlene, you're doing the same thing. Okay, well, while y'all are doing your thing here, let me check, see how much damage you actually did. Let me finish topping this off. Maybe you'll stop seeing that as a weak spot. Okay, so y'all, you only did a little bit of damage. It's not too bad. Being able to pop up there and do some repairs on it is definitely crucial, too. Go ahead and fall off, Vigor. Bruce, boy, you need to stop beating on that center pole, too. You need to keep an eye on my spear. And I need to quit hitting that center pole there. That's a pretty good jump, lady. Hi. Okay, let's do a couple quick top-off things here and there where we've been accidentally hitting it ourselves. That's good. This is pretty good. Let's see, bottom level here. They haven't really gone into crawl mode yet, which is good. Top you off. We're good. We're good. Now, of course, something like this won't work once we get to the point where we have cops and everything else. It's just not going to happen. They're, these kind of things, I mean, it could, but I'm going to need more than just a spear to do this. But if I can say I completed a Horde Knight with basically just using a spear, then I call that a win. Most of the weaponry I've having to use as far as like guns is just to get them from beating on that center pole or that sidewall over there. Come here, Tom. Come here, you. There you go. So I guess if I'm right, if I'm right next to the poles here, right next to the fence, they'll get up and come towards me. This gives me. Oh, this is just working out like gangbusters here. I'm liking this. Plenty of plenty of work to be done with the spear. That's just lovely. Let's see. Health is still perfect. Food and water are good. Durability of everything's good. This is fantastic. Pro design right here, man. Pro design. Come here, Tim. You and your stupid helmet will probably throw everything off. Hey. Quit it, sir. 
just trying to attract him to come over here. Again, if I can not have to use my weaponry on these idiots, save the bullets for later, that's just fantastic too. All right, there's midnight. We rolled over midnight, so we're doing pretty good. It's only two hours in, of course, but we're still doing good. Having the center pull here is definitely nice. Kind of forces some of them to get off. It, it makes them stop for just a second long enough to, you know, for give me a chance to kind of figure out what they're going to do with it. Hang on, got to repair or uh, reload. Level 11, baby. All right, let's do some topping off of some things here. Now, I don't know how this will work if we get to, like, a dog horde. I have no idea, because they'll go into crawl mode as well, but it's usually not too bad. Quit it. Come over here where I'm is. Come here. Yeah, come here. Yeah, see, I'm not entirely sure why they're figuring out that this wall is, you know, a better option here. They're definitely doing some work there. If they beat... Maybe I need to... Oh, they definitely did some work there. If they uh, continue to work on this, I need to get this fully upgraded, of course, so that they can't use that as a... Alright. They uh, can't see that as the weak point to get to me. Where'd you go? You ran off, you big idiot. How's the rest of this? Looking good, looking good. No damage taken over here. Come here, Bruce. There you go. You big idiot. And down he goes. Nice balancing. And while we're sitting here waiting, let's go see if we can't loot this bag. Can I get close enough to loot it? I don't... I don't want to fall off. It's awfully quiet again. Like I said, we, we were at 199. We start off at 161, I think. So I'm not even entirely sure how many zombies we've killed so far. But not too many. Like I said, this is Horde Knight level 1. Give me, there we go. That's what I was trying to get to. Uh, some more brass, a uh, can of chili, sure. A few brada and some shotgun ammo. Not bad. Not bad. Our stamina boost is still doing okay. Surely that's not all the zombies, right? If they beat down that one wall, they're still going to have this girder thing right back over here. So that's still not going to be good right now. If I get these upgraded, then they won't see it as a way to step on top of them. I don't know if that'll fix it or not. We'll just have to see. If that's upgraded up there, then they can't beat down this and try to get on top of it. We'll just have to see. Anyway, I guess we're just going to have to wait here and see if anybody else shows up. That might be it for the night. First Horde Night is never too big a deal. That's why I really wasn't worried about this particular base. I thought it would work. I had confidence it will work. And so far, it's worked beautifully. But we're just going to hang out and see if anybody else even shows up or not. Well, seeing as how the Horde Knight ends in 20 minutes and there hasn't been another living soul anywhere near us, I have to assume the Horde Knight is over. As I said, first Horde Knight, you usually don't get much. A small wave of zombies. We killed, what, 38? S somewhere between 35 and 40. I don't remember what we started off with. Not too bad. The base worked exactly like I hope it would. Beautiful. Not too bad at all. I like it. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this one here. We start off tomorrow and go get some work done, see if we can't work towards getting ourselves a workbench. That would be lovely. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're not already and click the bell so you get notified when we go live. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.